Over here, you can see a composite of the Young double slit experiment with red light, green light, blue light, and finally with white light. And this was all created using a filament lamp, a double slit from the Photonics Explorer kit, and a red, green, and blue filter from the Photonics Explorer kit. To do this, first of all, I set up a phone camera pointing at the filament lamp, and then zoomed in the camera, reduced the brightness, carefully lined up the double slit and the blue filter with the phone camera. And then I swapped into the green filter, and finally to the red filter, and after that, with no filter at all to see the effect with white light. Let's watch that again, zoomed in a bit more, starting with the blue filter, then the green filter, and then the red filter, and finally with no filter. You can clearly see that as you decrease the wavelength of the light from red to green to blue, that the fringe spacing decreases. If we add a vertical guide and move it over the central fringe, we can see that for all the wavelengths of light, the central fringe occurs in the same place, so they add together to give us white light. But if we move out to the third bright fringe, we can see that this occurs in a different place for the red, the green and the blue, and that means we end up with white light of getting a little spectrum, which you can see much more clearly over here. I hope this video has helped you to see how with simple equipment of a phone, a double slit and some coloured filters, you can see how changing the wavelength affects the fringe spacing and why with white light you get a central white fringes, but as you go further out you start to get little spectra.